Hey everyone, Notorious here. Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm excited to share with you a very rare and unique knot. This is ABOC 1032. In other words, it is the 1032nd entry in the Ashley Book of Knots, the most prolific and important encyclopedia of knots ever written. Not only will I discuss this knot, but I will teach you how to tie it. So let's get right to it. Aside from being listed as ABOC 1032 in Clifford Ashley's Encyclopedia of Knots, this knot has no real official name. Ashley states in his book that ABOC 1032 is an extremely secure loop knot, likely of Chinese decorative origin. The loop on this knot is fixed. In other words, once you've finished tying the knot and setting the loop size, the loop will remain steadfast and it will not slip or slide or budge whatsoever. I definitely have to agree with Ashley on the aspect of this knot being decorative. It is certainly one of the most attractive knots that I've seen in quite some time. And it is also, just like Ashley stated, extremely secure. While the tying method is surprisingly easy to learn and also very easy to memorize, the resulting knot is very complex looking and it has the rope going in so many different directions that the resulting knot is just very strong. So this could be used for decorative purposes. You could use it for non-critical light rigging and lashing and for securing and hauling. I would not use this for life support, although I am curious as to whether or not this could be considered a life supporting knot, but until that is confirmed and actually verified, I have to caution you and say, do not use this for life support applications. This is a very obscure knot that I just happened to come across while looking through the Ashley Book of Knots, and due to its security and ease of tying, that I had to share it with my community. So how about I teach you how to tie this knot? In order to tie ABOC 1032, first begin by forming an S shape in your rope. So begin with a bite in this direction, and then another bite in the opposite direction, creating the S shape. Next, take your working part and bring it up through the lower bite like this. Next, this is where you can set your loop size and I'm going to create a smaller loop here. And then you can take your working end and bring it behind the S and then through the upper bite here. Okay. So it should look like this at this point. And now we're going to bring our working end through this upper bite or the top part of the S. And now the knot is going to look like this. At this point, you've finished tying the knot. You just have to now dress it and set it correctly. So I like to first pull on the left side of the loop, secure that, and then pull the working end, and then pull this standing end here, and just then pull the right side of the loop, and there you have it. Now you've created ABOC 1032. This is 
a really awesome knot. I hope everyone watching this is just as excited as I was to learn how to tie this knot and just to learn that this knot even exists. Again, this knot is extremely obscure and not very well known. So you can impress your friends or try to popularize this and give it some of the limelight and attention that it deserves. On that point, that concludes this episode. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed learning about this knot, please hit the like button and show your support. Also, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can be alerted as soon as a new video gets published. Finally, thank you so much to everyone who supports me, Notorious, my channel, and my content, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, be sure to check out my channel for more hitch how-tos, knot tutorials, and climbing videos. Bye.